The southern right whale has one of the largest penises in nature. Imagine a four metre long penis, a quarter of the length of your body. A human's penis is about 7% of his height. Imagine a human with a penis a quarter of his body size. Let's not. So why would whales want such a large penis? Well, mating in the sea can be tricky. It's all to do with male competition. When female right whales are in estrus, when they're ready to mate, 10 or more males may jostle alongside them. The female rolls so that her belly is faced up in the water surface. This is so that her genital slit, her private parts, are out of the water. She'll remain inverted like this at the surface for up to an hour. But remember, whales are mammals like us, so need to breathe. And the equivalent of our nostrils, her blowholes, on the top of her head. So every few minutes, she rolls over to take a breath of air. While the female is hovering belly up, the males lying alongside her compete for a bit of action. Because the private parts are high out of the water, the males require a long, flexible penis to be successful. Many of the attending males may have the opportunity to mate with her, but the fun and games don't stop there. Right whales have a pair of one-ton testicles, about three to four percent of their body mass. For humans, our testicles, well, not mine personally, ours are tiny by comparison. If a human had testicles about the same proportion as a right whale, they'd be about 3.4 kilograms. That's about 34 apples. It'd be really hard to buy pants. That right whale's supersized testicles can produce up to 3.8 litres of sperm. And some people think that males are competing with their sperm. If you can produce more sperm, you can flush out your predecessor's contribution. So in the whale world, size matters. But skill also plays a part. Some males stroke the females with their flipper, gently or sometimes not so gently. This brings the female back underwater, making it easier for him to perform the sperm delivery role. It's not an easy task, the female's belly up, keeping her private parts well away. So you need to not only have great range to get your supersized penis to the right area, but it then needs also to perform its sperm delivery role. The right whale's penis is surprisingly agile, it's controlled by two muscles anchored around the pelvis, and the right whale, unlike other whales, has a surprisingly well-developed pelvis. It's always been assumed that for whales, the pelvis served no purpose, an evolutionary leftover from their terrestrial ancestors. Whales don't have weight-bearing limbs like we do, which is why we need a pelvis. So not only does the right whale have a supersized penis and testicles, they also have supersized pelvis. Perhaps this extra skeletal support gives the male better control of his sperm delivery system, his penis. Right whales use a different mating strategy to other whales. When you think of whale courtship, I suspect you're thinking of a humpback and specifically those lovely songs. Are the male humpbacks singing to woo a female? Or maybe the males are singing to compete, to tell other males to bugger off. We're still not sure why they sing, although it's mostly during the breeding season. But we do know that humpback whales battle, sometimes to the death, to get access to females. Males charge at one another at speed, ramming into other males, leaving bruises, cuts and worse. They slash at one another with their tails and wield their one-ton flippers like swords. Their flippers are even lined with razor-sharp barnacles. Unlike right whales, for humpbacks there's no polite taking turns. Now, although the right whales don't compete as aggressively as the humpbacks, there is some type of selection going on, because it's typically the older male right whales that sire most of the young. Maybe these older males, who also tend to have higher androgen levels, have more sperm. Higher androgens allow a male to have continued testicle development and higher rates of sperm production. Or potentially the older males have greater strength, endurance or skill in the use of their sperm delivery system. Sometimes age and experience counts.